sweaty selfie time. Hello, it's me. <laughs> I got here early for a wedding, so I'm all dressed up. I figured now would be a good time to start talking about this. It's been a really good year, but it's been a really pretty hard year, pretty tough year, uh, both with work, family, and nothing like drastic has happened. It's just been a very strenuous year. My hands are full, uh, but of good things. And it's been really a lot. Professionally, I feel like I've grown. Family-wise, I feel like I've grown. And I've actually started lifting. Uh, and I got some guns. Like, real ones. Real guns. This is awful already. I don't even know how to start talking about this. Well, the truth is, I started lifting. And I wanted to get photographs of these muscles. <laughs> and I know a sports photographer, Alexis, who is amazing. And I asked him, like, you know, would you consider doing a shoot with me? And... He said yes, thankfully. I mean, which is great for him. I mean, he's photographed like the US soccer team and LeBron and he's just amazing. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous to be on the other side of the camera. Um, and I'm nervous because I want this to be a big deal. Uh, that's the truth. I want this to be a big deal. And I want it not to be a big deal for me, but I want it to be a big deal for a working woman, a woman with kids, a woman, you know, with a family and one that doesn't get to be there every day. Don't go. Yeah. And as we were sort of planning the shoot, I realized that I just, I wanted this whole thing to end up being a statement. I'm just not sure that I can pull it off. So that sucks. <laughs> Uh, the truth is I don't like working out. I don't like working out at all, but I started doing this lift program and I like the results. Program works and I'm like, Whoa. I'm pretty excited about that. So, but the truth is even though it's, you know, four times a week and less than 40 minutes each time, it's still a decision. Either I can wake up before my kids and work out in my bedroom and piss my husband off because I'm like bouncing around at six o'clock in the morning. Um, or I get ready after we have childcare and then that's time away from work. So I just had to make a choice and uh, I decided to keep this promise to myself and keep doing it, even on Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And it just ends up all over the place. I'll never do it again. It's New Year's Eve. I just finished doing leg day. Yay, leg day sucks. I've got two weeks left before we're doing the shoot with Alexis. I just feel like I don't have time. Rob is bringing Judah to the doctor because he's sick. I have a huge week ahead of me today. I'm trying to just get everything done. This is part of the reason I want to do this shoot. You just, you gotta be strong. You gotta get stuff done when, you know, it's almost humanly impossible to get all this stuff done. <sighs> No, you're sick, but you're cute. I have to play with you. One thing I'm not giving up, my wine. <sighs> Seven days away from, from the shoot. I am tired. <laughs> I worked out today, but I felt completely guilty because both kids are sick and Rob is sick and I had to ask for half an hour of being able to work out. And on top of it, I feel like I'm starting to get sick. This past week working out has become really difficult because I have a bad knee. I was a gymnast for 14 years and uh, that took a toll on my knee. I have two knee surgeries and I am bone on bone. Adding new accessory today. It's all swollen. And yesterday I had to ice it. And today I didn't want to work out. I thought I have an excuse. I'm hurt. My right knee is fabulously swollen and uh, really painful and trying to still work out while in pain is a whole nother story. Um, but it's like day, so here we go. I'm headed to get a shot in my knee. I'm not excited about this. I basically stick a massive needle in you and shoot stare right in. And it feels like your knee is gonna explode and right when you think it actually is, then, then they pull the needle out. Ready to see sexy? Oh, baby. Okay, gonna feel a little pinch and burn. 
and some pressure. and puke. That sucked. Oh. But at least I have a smiley face band-aid. Doing this, this is, has got me thinking about like strength and always thought of strength as being muscular, but strength, you know, it's how a parent takes care of their child. It's sacrifice, things that you want for a family member or a friend and there are many ways that people are strong and show strength. I'm just choosing to do it physically. So, last workout, last time to push. Here we go. There she is, look at that outfit. Dude, carbon 38 kicking total ass, dude. So I'm downstairs and I'm waiting to go up on the roof. While they're setting up, I'm hiding out down here because it's really cold. I don't do well in the cold. Uh, but I got the first outfit on, not this jacket, but uh, what's underneath, it's nothing, nothing I normally wear, but at least it's long sleeves. Make you look like an angel. I'm gonna give you a glow. So we have three magnet reflectors. All right. Two P50s right here at position five, and then a B10 up there, and to match that one. So we're gonna give you a nice glow all the way around. Killer white outfit happening right now. Let's do this. So we're back in the airport after a, a nice short day of shooting. So we slept, we ate really good Mexican food. Not in that order. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it Yeah, I think so. I mean, the thing is cool. We got a lot of good behind the scenes. Of, I would say like 80% of the things that we shot. Because we stood afterwards, uh, after the hair and makeup left and after the assistant left, and we still kept shooting because we were gangsters like that. Yeah, we shot a lot. My whole thing was just wanting to have images that portrayed strength that it takes for photographers and for entrepreneurs to get up and do what they do every day. What do you think is probably like the things that you have to be strong about in your career? To be a successful creative a photographer or anything in that realm, you have to be able to work hard and will your vision or whatever you want into existence, you know, regardless what you have to do. As a business owner and photographer, it takes a lot of strength to do what I do, to do what all of you do, wherever you are and, you know, wherever you are in life. I think there are a lot of ways to show strength and I just chose to show strength physically. Since this shoot, I've kept up working out but I'm looking for that sweet spot between working out to be healthy and feel good while not having it take over my life. After all, I do love my wine. <laughs> That's the kind of balance I want. If you are looking to do a shoot like this, I highly recommend it. Create a goal, a big one, work towards it, and then document your success. I think so few of us document our successes, and why not do that? Go get them. <laughs>